Hey, Scorpio. So, you guys are getting middle of the night me. I cannot sleep. I wanted to get these readings up. I had some work to accomplish. I'm, like, wide awake. God help me. Now, what is wrong with my sleep schedule? But this is how we're doing it. Hopefully, you'll enjoy. So, these are just general readings. That's kind of what, when I put up the whole, what do you guys want? That's what the majority of people wanted. It's easier for me. I like the general readings. It's whatever comes out. So, let's get you three oracle cards before I start for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I am currently studying Scorpios right now. So, especially you Scorpio Risings, let me know. Any information would be really grateful. I'd be really grateful for because I am, um, I'm trying to figure out somebody's, rising without the birth time i'm we're we're pretty sure it's scorpio um i got on some forums i looked at the astrology i looked at the you know what's coming up so i'm going to figure it out it has been like two years of me looking for this rising so i'm going to figure it out okay pop the question karmic lesson and round and round, cycles, triggers, lessons, blah. Okay. Somebody might be hearing about a pregnancy as well. Okay, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Jesus. What do you want Scorpio to know? Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. If you can hear the snorting in the back, I apologize. My dogs are chewing on something and it's just, they're just kind of gross, you know? Ooh, okay, so there is something coming to towards you, but you this is going to be a bit of a shocker to you. This is not something that you could predict. What is this the Scorpio has coming towards them? I don't know why I'm seeing Lady in the Tramp, guys. That's weird. Somebody's coming towards you. Somebody has an offering to make to you. Okay, this could be somebody from the past. It could be somebody new. Both of you have like a very immature sort of way about you. And when I say immature, I don't mean immature as in like you're you're petty and silly and, you know, uh, can't hold a job or like whatever. I'm saying like you guys may ha um, um, you know, be very childlike towards each other. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so there is a situation where you, you know, I think you know better. I think there is a situation that happened that you knew you should move on from and you haven't. So it could be just energetically, it could be physically, and I am getting air sign here. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising, what do you want them to know? You're going to do it. You're going to do it. I'm getting the number six, so it could be six days, six weeks, six months. Um, in the sixth month, something like that. You will end up doing it, and, and it's the best thing for you, okay? If you want to see positive change, if you want to get to where, you know, your goals are, you got to leave this situation behind. It really just, you know, it was, it was probably holding you back. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. There is some sort of karmic justice coming similar to the other water signs. You don't need to do anything. You do not have to battle it. You don't have to, you know, make some sort of case. This is just going to happen naturally. Drop your drop your sword. Allow it to happen. Um, you'll get to see it happen, okay? You may be spending some time out and about after a prolonged period of time alone. There is somebody at a distance you might be feeling like you miss. I don't see that moving forward. <clears throat> no change with that, okay? Doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be. There is an argument that's coming to an end. This would be with an earth sign or somebody with earth-like qualities. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. A wish fulfillment here and... Could, could be with a fire sign or you're just starting to feel better about yourself. You're starting to feel like more attractive, a little fiery, a little, you know, intense, okay? I like it. 
I like it. I, I, I see a love offering here, Scorpio. So maybe you're just in the mood for love right now. Maybe you're just like, you know, you know, you want to find your match or you just, maybe you just want to get a, a, you know, have sex. Who knows? There's something you're not allowing to happen. The tower here. What is Scorpio not allowing to happen? Okay, Scorpio, so if you do want a relationship, if you do, you know, you're, you're out meeting people or you have somebody in mind or, you know, whoever this person is, or, you know, whatever the situation is, it's saying in order for you to get into this relationship, you have to stop putting so many freaking rules in place, okay? You can't be like, it's my way or the highway, I'm not willing to bend, um, you know, uh, this happened to me before, so I'm just going to assume you're going to do it, you know, so you have to, you're going to have to go with the flow a little bit. You're going to have to make some sort of space for somebody else to, to, um, be able to like get in, you know, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Scorpio, I feel like you had arguments with quite a few people recently or just like, and again, they didn't, don't have to leave you huge, you know, situations. It could have just been a really bad email, but I see a lot of those things, you know, finally going away for you. I feel like you're going to have a much calmer May and June and July. Okay. And it could be with a fire sign. I feel like they might bring it back up though and just just an FYI you can just let that go you don't have to do anything about it Scorpio Sun Moon and Rising finding some sort of stability once again I do see a trip coming your way what is this trip about for somebody it's gonna be Disney for sure for other people it could be um, definitely somewhere in India um, for other people, it's somewhere that's very dusty. Continue. What is this trip about? It's a financial matter. It's saying it's a financial matter and, ooh, okay. Use your instinct on this financial matter. Okay, make sure you're reading all of the paperwork, the whatever, because something could go wrong. Okay, that is a warning. Something could go wrong. You might find that it isn't what... So it's funny here with High Priestess because I feel like you know. Um, you're just so excited about this opportunity or you're so excited about the financial part that you might miss something, even though your gut's telling you. So just keep that one in mind. Um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do you want them to know? Do you want Scorpio to know? Yeah, Scorpio, you know what? Don't be signing any contracts. Don't be closing on any deals right now. Don't do it. <clears throat> Somebody's health would also be affected by this stress. I don't like it, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Feeling like you have a lack of options here. You're waiting for somebody to come back or enter your life. So this is a past person for a lot of you. And if it's somebody new, okay, you're waiting, you're waiting for this, you're, you know, maybe you met somebody and you're waiting for them to text you so you guys can meet up. Maybe this is a past person, you're waiting for an apology. Maybe this is, um, you know, whatever, but I see it coming with the Ten of Cups. It's on its way, okay? So whatever it is that you want, um, it is coming. You're not seeing all the options, you're not feeling like you have them, but they are there. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm seeing a squirrel. There is somebody who is toxic or a toxic situation here. What is this about with the devil? 
Yeah. Okay. Don't, this is, you're getting a lot of warnings here, Scorpio. Don't reconnect with anybody that used to do business with. Um, don't, like I said, don't be signing anything on a whim. Don't be closing on a house right now. Nothing. Not, it's none of it's going to go according to plan, but this is all stuff that's already started here with the six of cups in the reverse. Definitely don't take an offering from a Capricorn right now, either if you had a Capricorn in your past. Um, do not reconcile with them. Scorpio, healing from some sort of sad situation. <coughs> situation, sorry. Making a decision to move forward. Healing. <coughs> some of you might be meeting a water sign. They have a very healing energy. They do have a mask on though, Scorpio, Okay. And I feel like this is not a mask because they also have arm um, bands on. I don't feel like this mask is like to hold back from you, but more to protect themselves, okay? I feel like they, they've got like a bit of a fragile um, energy toward, to the fragile energy towards them. What is this Three of Cups? Scorpio, you could end up with a water sign for sure. For sure. A fellow water sign, I should say. If you guys have more than one person that you're talking to, I feel like you would give them all up for this person as well. And we do have the Ace of Cups, so it's like a restart. It's a restart. This could be a past person. This could be a new person, but, <clears throat> but it looks really good. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You are on the upright. I like it. Again, you have that freaking earth sign in your energy. And they're like, I feel like they've put you through quite a bit. This, because of all the coins, I feel like this could be work related. It doesn't have to be though. Um, this could even just be somebody you support financially, something like that. And they just keep taking, I don't know. But I do see that you feel sort of like, like you're there for them, but they're never there for you. Doesn't have to be an earth sign. Three more cards for Scorpio, and I think we can end it there. Sun, Moon, and Rising. For those of you that are struggling with anything financial right now, <clears throat> I do see something that will be coming, but I'd be careful. I'd be careful, because it's almost like somebody gives you money for an investment. Maybe it's to start your own business, or maybe it's just like a you know, a loan, um, something of that nature. And I feel like there's a catch. There's a catch. Be careful with it. I don't like it, okay? And it leaves you as the hangman. So I would be really, really careful with that situation. Um, I would not... The finances are scary right now, guys. You may need to fight to stay in your relationship or your future relationship. You may need to fight because I feel like that person's going to give up um, towards the end. I feel like they're going to else feel like you're really not on board or, you know, maybe because you have so many other things you're dealing with, they're going to kind of lose interest. Um, so it's saying you would have to fight for that connection because they're going to, and it, you are pulling another water sign. All right, guys, I hope this helps.